how are you? Shall we learn about classic novel today? What do you understand by classic? Classic is anything that stands the test of time. Any work that is read over ages and time is called classic. I would like to introduce Jane Austen's classic novel Pride and Prejudice. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice is a classic novel. The novel opens with the celebrated sentence, It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want for a wife. This opening takes us directly to the lives of the Bennets. Mr. Bennet and Mrs. Bennet have five doctors, Jane, Elizabeth, Mary, Catherine or Kitty and Lydia. Mrs. Bennet is anxious to see all her doctors married, especially as the modest family estate is to be inherited by William Collins when Mr. Bennet dies. Because the social condition then was that only males could be heirs to family property. Charles Bingley, the wealthy handsome bachelor who comes to stay at Netherfield Park, takes an immediate interest in the beautiful and shy Jane Bennet. Elizabeth Bennet and Fitzwilliam Darcy, Bingley's friend, do not have a warm acquaintance. Darcy's pride of fortune and prejudice against the social inferiority of Elizabeth's family hold him aloof, while Elizabeth is equally fired both by her self-respect and prejudice against Darcy's snobbery. Bingley's sister, Carolyn, invites Jane to Netherfield Park. On her return home, she catches fever and has to stay at Bingley's house longer. The arrogant Catherine behaves rudely to Elizabeth who came to tend her sister. Mrs. Bennet visits Netherfield Park with Kitty and Lydia. Their lack of etiquette disheartens Elizabeth. Darcy starts feeling positively about Elizabeth, which makes Carolyn even more spiteful for she has always been pursuing Darcy. Mr. Collins arrives at Bennet's house hoping to marry one of the Bennet sisters. He first thinks of Jane. When Mrs. Bennet says Jane is getting engaged soon, he shifts his attention to Elizabeth and proposes her in a couple of days. However, Elizabeth refuses his proposal. In no time, he becomes engaged to Charlotte Lucas, Elizabeth's friend. Elizabeth encounters the charming George Wickham, a military officer. There is a mutual attraction between the two and he informs her that Darcy has denied him his inheritance. Weaver has grown increasingly fond of Elizabeth, admiring her intelligence and vitality. Gardeners, Elizabeth's relatives, invite her to London. Elizabeth visits Charlotte at Collins house. They visit Rosings Park to see Lady Catherine, Collins' patron and Darcy's aunt. There she meets Darcy and his sister Georgiana. Lady Catherine behaves rudely to Elizabeth. She expects Darcy to marry her daughter Anne. Darcy visits Elizabeth at Collins house and proposes her. When she demands an explanation, she accuses him of breaking up Jane and Bingley. Darcy subsequently writes Elizabeth a letter in which he explains that he separated the couple largely because he did not believe Jane returned Bingley's affection. He also discloses that Wickham, after squandering his inheritance, tried to marry Darcy's then 15-year-old sister in an attempt to gain possession of her fortune. With these revelations, Elizabeth begins to see Darcy in a new light. The youngest Bennet sister, Lydia, elopes with Wickham. The news is met with great alarm by Elizabeth since a scandalous affair could ruin the reputation of the other Bennet sisters. When she tells Darcy, he persuades Wickham to marry Lydia, offering him money. Despite Darcy's attempt to keep his intervention a secret, Elizabeth learns of his actions from Lydia. At the encouragement of Darcy, Bingley subsequently returns and he and Jane get engaged. Finally, Darcy proposes again to Elizabeth, who this time accepts. They get married. Do you like the novel? Pride and Prejudice has been made into several adaptations over the years. Try to read the novel and try to watch some of the adaptations for yourself. Thank you.